the 13th annual Julian Banjo Fiddle and Guitar Contest. Big day up in Julian at Frank Lane Field. It's Sunday from 10.30 to 5, and for more information, I guess uh, people who call can actually enter the contest or sure call for ticket information or uh, whatever. Uh, my favorite part of the flyer advertising the Julian Banjo Fiddle and Guitar Contest was a line that said, absolutely no dogs. So <laughs> leave your girlfriends and your animals <laughs> at home. If the crew's going, leave your girlfriends at home, yes. Uh, behind me is uh, part of a, a terrific, unique music store school community i guess it's on ray street in san diego the store and music school etc is called the new expression and it's kind of a special place kind of a family atmosphere they teach uh, all the instruments uh, of the folk idiom and the country idiom they uh, sell them as well repair them etc and they also perform and the new expression is going to be one of the groups at the 13th annual julian banjo uh, guitar and fiddle contest this Sunday. I have my guitar. This is National Guitar Week, and I thought as long as they were here, and instead of letting them play by the way, I would say, wait a minute, I, oh, 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 hit it, guys. She's a wonder I can tell.
about four minutes before the hour. Here's a final look at the morning headlines. A U.S. warship fired on Druze Muslim positions in Lebanon this morning. The editor of the Communist Party newspaper Pravda says the downing of the Korean jet will lead to tougher civilian control over the military in the Soviet Union. And in Los Angeles, teachers vote today on whether to authorize a strike that could affect more than a half million students. The village of Julian, California is only four blocks long and three blocks wide, but once a year it bustles the way it did in the old days, in the gold rush. On that special day, Julian holds its annual dueling banjo and fiddle contest, and it is hot. Tomorrow on the CBS Morning News, Gore Vidal, John Ritter, and the Californians who paid President Reagan's electric bill. I'd like Sammy Kahn to put music to uh, what we just heard <laughs> in the banjos. Also, Pat Collins reporting from Los Angeles, Billie Jean King, Bobby Riggs, of course, 10 years after that famous grudge match. Shall we hear a few banjos before we Why go? Not? Thanks to Sammy Kahn. We'll see you tomorrow for more of the CBS Morning News. Have a good day. some good news tonight. San Diegans' first quintuplets born here yesterday are stronger and healthier tonight. That's according to doctors at the UC, uh, U, uh, let's do it again, the UC Medical Center. The five Garcine babies are defying the odds, but they're also racking up a huge hospital bill. The doctors are donating their services, but the hospital bills alone average, average about $10,000 a day. The babies all expected to stay in the hospital for about three weeks. Don't worry that the word... the Code 5 team that stood by on volunteer call for the delivery alert. Why the personal touch? Just seeing them get out of here nice and, and healthy and go home to their parents nice and healthy and feeding well. Um, that, that's probably the biggest joy for all these the, the nurses in here, else they wouldn't be doing this. They work 12-hour shifts, sometimes more, trying not to become too attached. The Quints have three or four weeks yet before they can leave. Meantime, there are many diaper changes, multiple feedings. For now, the mother is no doubt using her maternal instincts and in letting the nurses do most of the work, saving her own strength for later. From University Hospital, Miriam Hernandez, News Center 39. Special group of women. Huh? Mm -hmm. That is it for us. We'll see you tomorrow at 5. Thank you for joining us. You're alone.